Hello, and welcome to our journey together. My name is Dr. Ray Benedetto, and I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me uh, on this crash course, this, this uh, eight-day crash course uh, that I've put together on all things thyroid. If you're watching this and you have joined and signed up for this course, then obviously uh, you may have a thyroid problem or you may think you have a thyroid problem or you know somebody and love somebody who has a thyroid problem and you want to get the most up-to-date information that you can. So, so thank you. Thank you for joining me. And what we're going to do over the next eight days is I'm going to take you through from A to Z, everything from what is the thyroid? What does it do? How do I know if I have a thyroid problem? How can I get it checked? How can I get some help? How can I get some treatment? What's the best way moving forward? What's the best path for you? So I hope this is really beneficial um, you know, as we go through this, this, uh, this course and this series. If you have questions along the way, you'll be able to email me and, and, and ask me any questions you need um, along the way. I'm here to help. If you need clar clarity on anything that we're discussing or you want more information or you want to maybe know how, how you and I can work more closely together, um, we, we, can, we can definitely address those things along the way. So um, we are going to dive right in with both feet uh, at, at the letter A, right? That's where we go from A to Z. Um, and today's lesson, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about basically thyroid 101, right? So what is the thyroid what does it do? Why is it so important? You know, what are the symptoms of a thyroid problem? Things like that. Okay. So let's start with what is the thyroid? Okay. The thyroid is a gland. It's a butterfly shaped gland that sits right in your, right in your neck. And what it does basically is it runs your metabolism. Okay. So your, your thyroid makes two types of thyroid hormones. It makes what's called T4 and what's called T3. Okay. And those hormones are produced by the thyroid, uh, by the thyroid gland, and they circulate around your body, and they tell the cells in your body when to kind of ramp up their metabolism, and if there's no thyroid hormone present, then ramp down their metabolism. Okay, so uh, and we'll get into a in, in another lesson uh, a little further down the road. We'll get into the mechanics of how that all works, like how the brain and the pituitary gland communicate to the thyroid and all that kind of stuff. We'll get into some of those things, but you know, for today, the basics is your thyroid gland runs your metabolism. It's the gas pedal of your metabolism, right? If we need to ramp up our metabolism, we push down on that gas pedal, the thyroid makes its hormones. If we need to come off the throttle or off the gas pedal a little bit because we don't need our metabolism to be so high, then the thyroid stops making its hormones. I hope that makes sense. Now, if the thyroid's not working right, there are one of two, one of two things that can happen. Number one is it goes hype, what we call hypothyroid or underactive, okay? So for some reason, and again, we'll get into the reasons and, and the most common reason in, a, in a, a later, a later uh, lesson, but for the sake of today's uh, lesson, let, there are many reasons why that could happen and when it does happen, what you're going to see symptom-wise is you're going to see signs and symptoms of uh, underactive thyroid or an underactive metabolism, right? So if your metabolism wouldn't be working so well, what would you be seeing here? So we have this checklist where we can kind of run through on today's lesson, right? So we can see with hypothyroidism right here on the, on the left, you have uh, most people will complain of weight gain or the inability to lose weight in spite of no change, right? So I haven't changed my diet, I haven't changed anything. And all of a sudden I'm just gaining weight or, I can't, or for some reason, all the things that I'm doing exercise wise or diet wise to help lose the weight aren't working anymore, right? So we see constipation, right? Your digestion slows down. Fatigue, super common. And we're not talking about just like, I'm tired because I didn't get a great night's sleep. We're talking about like crippling clinical fatigue, like can't get off the couch if I dragged myself, okay? Neurological stuff. Right, so we see brain fog all the time, forgetfulness, uh, depression, dry skin and hair, hair loss, very common, right? Feeling cold all the time, right? I can't, my furnace isn't running hot, so I'm cold all the time or have a sensitivity to cold. Changes in your menstrual cycle, very common. Infertility, also very common, puffy face. Okay, these are all symptoms that um, will typically indicate 
the need to look at um, if somebody has hypothyroidism, especially if these symptoms are worsening or they're very persistent. Now, just the opposite of that, as you can see over here on the right-hand side, is something called hyperthyroidism. Okay, so that's an overactive thyroid where your thyroid, like that, that gas pedal is like stuck to the floor, right? So at hypothyroidism, it's like, man, I can't push down on the gas pedal. It's, I'm coming off it all the time. With hyperthyroidism, that gas pedal is stuck to the floor. So you're going to see symptoms of an overactive thyroid or an overactive metabolism, just the opposite of hypothyroidism, right? So what are we going to say? So we're going to see unexplained weight loss, right? It's like my metabolism is just go, go, go. I'm losing weight like crazy. I'm eating like crazy. You know, I'm doing all the things that I normally did and the weight is just flying off. It's almost unhealthy. Increased appetite, right? So I'm hungry all the time. Got to keep putting logs on the fire because I'm burning up the logs too quick. Increased heart rate, right? Fast heart rate. You're going to have, you know, your pulse is going to be elevated a lot of times. Anxiety, nervousness, right? Jittery all the time. Irritability, shaking of the hands, trembling, feeling warm all the time, right? So now if my metabolism is ramp, 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 I'm going to be hot all the time. I'm going to be warm all the time, okay? Insomnia, can't sleep. Right? So now, instead of things like brain fog or depression, where my brain's ramped down, my brain is all ramped up, so I can't shut it off. I can't sleep. Right? Muscle weakness, thin skin, real brittle hair. A lot of times, you'll also see bulging eyes, like someone's eyes look like they'll be bulging out of their heads. They'll have a lot of eye pain, a lot of eye dryness, things like that. So if you are experiencing any of these symptoms, especially if you look on one side or the other and you're like, man, I could check off almost all of those or many of them, and you have not had your thyroid checked, it's a good idea to have, um, to have your doctor run some tests to check your thyroid. And in the, in the next video, actually, in the next lesson tomorrow, uh, I'm going to go over, okay, listen, if you think you have a thyroid problem, here are the tests that should be run. Or if you do have a thyroid problem and it's not getting better, even with treatment, then here are the tests you need to make sure you have run because a lot of times doctors don't run a very complete panel, they just run a couple of tests. Um, and then, you know, obviously too, a lot of these symptoms, what happens, right? As we get older, you go to your doctor with these symptoms, they say, oh, well, you know, it's just stress or, you know, you're a new parent or, you know, it's, it's your job, you're getting older, it's menopause, yada, 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 right? So many of you have heard a lot of these things when many times it is, the thyroid itself that's actually causing the problem and it's just not being addressed properly or it's not being addressed at all. So, uh, so thyroid 101 today, right? So thyroid runs your metabolism because it makes hormones that make your cells either ramp up or ramp down depending on if those hormones are there. So it's the gas pedal to your body. Okay. If it goes south, right? If it's not working correctly, Again, it's going to go one of two ways. It's going to go hype O, which is underactive, and you're going to see all the symptoms here. If it goes overactive or hyper thyroid, you're going to see all these symptoms over here. Now, hype O thyroidism is much more common in, this, in, the, in the United States, in the, in the world, really. But hype O thyroidism is much more common. But that doesn't, you know, that doesn't mean hyper thyroidism is rare. It, it, it's not. Um, and both have, obviously, complications, right? So we got to be careful, especially with hyperthyroidism, for example, with cardiac complications, because it'll cause heart issues and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so I hope this lesson today was valuable for you. What we're going to do is kind of work our way through in these daily lessons. Okay, look, here's our foundation. What's the thyroid? What does it do? How do I know if I have a problem? And then we'll kind of work through how uh, to figure that out. Or if you've been diagnosed, okay, and I'm not getting better. What, what more can I do to help get myself better? Okay. Now, this particular, underneath this video, um, you will see a link where you can actually download this PDF here to save. It's yours as, as a gift. So, um, so everything that we went over today, if you wanted to print it out and have this checklist in front of you um, while you're kind of assessing your health and, and maybe uh, what, what's going on or what you need to do, um, this will all, you'll have access to this, to this form. I have lots of goodies for you in store over the coming days, all kinds of resources and downloads and cool stuff that you can put in your arsenal or so that you can use to have a good conversation with your doctor about, hey, 
what's going on here? We got to get this figured out and we got to get me better. So I uh, hope this was helpful for you today. Stay tuned uh, in, uh, for tomorrow. We'll have another, another uh, valuable lesson for you. Where we're going to start talking about mm -hmm. testing and how do we figure all this stuff out and, 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 and a conversation that you can either have with your doctor or ask your doctor to maybe run some of those tests if you haven't had them done. So that'll be coming up in tomorrow's lesson. I hope this one was helpful for you. If you have any questions at all or you need to get in touch with me ever, uh, you can reply uh, uh, to this email, obviously. Um, you can always find me, uh, Dr. Ray Benedetto. Uh, you can search me on Facebook and Google, right? That's how we do things nowadays. Um, so I hope this lesson was helpful for you today. Stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow is lesson two, where we're going to start talking about thyroid tests. Have a great day, everyone.